Bedtime Story, A Monkey Mother's Tale, story by A. Zaina and illustrated by E. Barkova. The tropical forest is a beautiful place, full of green. The air and environment are sparkling clean. A little long-eared hare lives there. Her name is Penelope. She has a vegetable patch of her own, which she cares for tenderly. She wants to grow the tastiest vegetables in the whole forest. When lunchtime comes, she pulls out a fresh carrot and feasts on it, enjoying its wonderful taste. But everything changed one night when Penelope was in bed fast asleep. The next morning, when it was time to treat herself to a sweet carrot, Penelope noticed something disgraceful. Someone with a very bad manners had thrown a candy wrapper right into her vegetable patch. Penelope was even more astounded when she saw that there were a hundred blue wrappers lying all around. After a moment's thought, she decided to follow the garbage trail, certain it would lead her straight to the rescue. The trail led her to a big tree with a huge pile of wrappers towering below it. Hey, who is throwing around garbage so shamelessly? The hare looked up and saw the answer just above her head. On the branch of the big tree sat an ill-mannered monkey. The monkey was gobbling candy mm -hmm. and throwing the wrappers in the ground without a care. Hey, you! Why are you littering in our forest? Stop it right away! cried Penelope. Having been discovered, the monkey took fright. He turned tail and ran as fast as he could, forgetting all about the candy. The monkey jumped so skillfully among the trees, the hare could not catch up. However, being quite frightened, the monkey lost control after a while and fell head over heels down towards the ground until he got caught in a tangle of vines and branches. He tried to free himself, hmm, but there was no one around to give him a hand. The monkey lost all hope when suddenly Penelope appeared from behind the trees. She approached and asked, Hey monkey, why do you have such bad manners? Why do you think you can throw garbage all around this way? The monkey had nothing to say, so he simply looked away ashamed. Okay, don't worry, said Penelope. I'll set you free. Everything's going to be alright. She helped the monkey get down to the ground and asked, Now, will you be so kind as to clean up after yourself? Oh, how embarrassed the monkey felt. He didn't utter a word and got down to work. He cleaned everything up to the last piece until the forest looked the same as before. And Penelope could again enjoy her carrots in a neat vegetable patch alongside a now well-mannered monkey. That's the end of the story. I hope you like it.